it's John, and it's just the day after Christmas now, and hopefully your holiday was great, and I know mine was, and I got some cool new stuff, including this awesome new sweatshirt. And I hope that Santa was good to you, or maybe somebody in your family, and maybe you picked yourself up a new resin 3D printer. Maybe you got an Anycubic Photon, or an Elegoo Mars, or a Frozen Transform, or a Piopoli Phenom, one of those big printers that I need to get my hands on. Anyway, one of the most frustrating parts that, that people always kind of run into issues with when they pick up a resin printer is how the hell do you clean up the resin prints? So I figured I would show you the way that I do it here in the shop. And this is the way. So I'm going to show you the way that I do it right now on 9142 Props and Armor. Okay, so you got your new resin printer, you've made your first print, or maybe you've been printing for a little bit, and you're still having trouble with the process after the fact. I do a lot of resin printing in the projects that I do, so you got your printer. And I've got mine here, my Anycubic Photon, which has been a great machine for me. I just now. Right now it's printing up uh, a part for uh, the Mandalorian helmet that you saw earlier. Um, I will be doing a build video on that, as that is coming soon. First of all, there's a few things that you absolutely need to have when you are working with a resin printer. Nitro gloves. Go and buy them. Go and buy a box. Maybe buy two, depending on how much printing you do. They are very inexpensive. Um, there are, I'll put a link down below to some that I use in, uh, from Amazon, along with some links to some other things that I use during the process of uh, the video and when I show you. Or you can go to a local place. Uh, these were picked up at Harbor Freight. I think these usually, when they're on sale, go for five or six bucks for a box of 100. Nitro gloves, you cannot have enough of. Resins come in all kinds of varieties. Some are fairly inert as far as how they smell. Chemically, uh, when it comes to exposure to yourself, to your skin, um, into your eyes, into your mouth, there's a lot that's yet to be known when it comes to those things. So, absolutely, when you're working with resin 3D printers, take every precaution that you can. As you can see, my printer is enclosed in an enclosure where it is completely sealed off and vented to the outside. If you'd like, let me know down in the description below if you'd like to know a little bit more about uh, how I made this, and I can show you how I did it and help you through maybe building one of yours. This thing. I don't have resin stink in my house at all when this machine is running. It is absolutely fantastic. So if you want to know more about that, let me know. Gloves. Gloves are an absolute must when you are working with your resin machine. The second thing you must have a lot of, paper towels. You're going to use a lot of paper towels. You can use paper towels all the time to clean up. Get yourself plenty, have plenty on hand. So here we've got a Baby Yoda, which by the way, I do have a winner for the Baby Yoda. Uh, Aaron Gray is going to get a Baby Yoda, uh, so Aaron, uh, please reach out to me, let me know down in the comments down below, and I will get you your very own little Baby Yoda out to you. After we remove uh, the item from the build plate, the print from the build plate, I have these little trays which have screen mesh on the bottom, and they are 3D printed on an FDM machine. These files are available on Thingiverse. I did uh, change them a little bit to change the dimensions of them so that they fit into my resin washing station which I'll show you in a moment uh, but this is very helpful it helps keep your hands off of prints that are full of resin it helps keep your hands out of the IPA which is a good thing as well remove the print from the machine put it into here and then we'll take it over to the wash station now the wash station is something that I made I'm um, using my CNC router. Um, if you'd like, let me know. I can put the files up on, uh, I'll post them up somewhere on Thingiverse. Or resin washing can be a bit of a mess. Um, IPA smells. It's not awful, but you don't want your house to smell like IPA. So what I did is I got myself a couple of snap tight flip top containers that allow me to keep my IPA in there and keep it sealed so one it doesn't evaporate and two it doesn't stink up the shop and I don't have to smell IPA all day. Which got two containers. The first one 
On the left here is my first wash. So I have a two-step wash. So let's talk about the IPA real quick. I use, and people do this differently, some use IPA just in the first, first wash. The second one is strictly a rinse where they use water. Uh, some people instead will use different cleaning agents like Simple Green. I've seen a couple of other ones done for it. IPA works. IPA is inexpensive and does a great job of removing uncured resin from your prints. So that's why I stick with it. Now most of the time, generally speaking, the higher concentration of, e of IPA that you can get, the better the cleaning results and the quicker the cleaning results will be. Typically if I can get it, I will use 90 or 95 percent. It's usually readily available in most stores. And in some cases, I'll go down all the way to 70% in this the second in the rinse bucket here. Put your part in there, keep it on your tray. You see some bubbles coming up in there at all. That's because this one has proper vent holes in the model. The model has been hollowed. After leaving the model sit in that wash, that initial wash, I usually leave it sit in there for about 10 minutes. Um, you can go through and agitate it as well to make sure you get it um, nice and rinsed around. That's why these these little baskets are really nice for doing this because you can move your print around in there. It doesn't involve you having to hold on to your part while it's in there. So after about 10 minutes in that first wash uh, wash bin, I'll move it over to the second one. leave it in there for a few more minutes probably another 10 minutes or so and you can see that having those little buckets in there those little those little strainers is really nice because it allows you to clean up the part real well agitate things and everything as well so it's been we've gone through that 10 minutes get our print out let all that alcohol drain out of there you can see that the second wash is nice and clean because we've done most of our cleaning in that first one. Now the reason that I like to use IPA the second and that rinse instead of water is because water, unless you have really well treated water, is very soft. When you put water on here and it dries out on your print, it's going to leave hard water stains on there. You always see people, I always see people in, in forums and in Facebook groups and say, oh man, I cleaned out my resin print and it's got all this white crud all over it. Well, it's minerals from the water that get left behind on your print once it's completed. So after you get your IP out of there, you take it out. Um, I like the wash station like this too because I just set my prints up top of there and let them air dry. It only takes 5-10 minutes before this guy will be nice and dry. So hopefully that was helpful. It's a very simple process but if you set yourself up really well with something like this and there are commercially available units like this that go for $100 and in some cases up to $400 for some of them, which is just insane. Um, I'll put links down in the description below to where I got these buckets on Amazon. I think you can pick up two of them now. The price has gone up on them a little bit for about 40 bucks for this exact size, which is a 17 cup. Uh, there will be other sizes available, other brands available. Um, I will put the model up for this rack which when screwed to the wall is extremely sturdy, sturdy enough that I will leave my cleaning station filled with IPA sitting over top of my CNC router. I do have faith in everything. Uh, it's worked out very well thus far. A couple of other things. Uh, one other giveaway that I was doing um, for the 3D printed Die Hard Ornament uh, Remo. You were the winner of that. So Remo, reach out to me. I'll need your information so that I can send that to you as well. Lots of really cool stuff coming up for you on the channel. You saw the Mandalorian helmet before. Uh, I will be working on that and filming that as I go through the process of finishing it over the next week or so and hopefully get that up very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Go ahead, subscribe to the channel if you've not done so far already. I greatly appreciate that and your comments down below. You guys are awesome. If you have any further questions about cleaning up your resin prints after you pull them off the printer, please let me know down in the description below. You can let me know on Twitter. I'm at John Weger on Twitter. I hope that the uh, rest of your week between now and New Year's is, is fantastic. So thanks for watching. It's John. Have a great rest of your time off. I'll see you later.